Hello, welcome to Microfiche Microphone. I'm Micah, and on this channel, we look at microfiche from the past, old newspaper articles in the public domain. We look at them with our modern eyes, our modern perspective, and see what we can learn from them. On this microfiche time capsule, we are looking at the Gentleman's Magazine from June 1800, and this article is entitled Prevention of Putrid Fevers in Jails, etc. I thought that was really interesting because I want to see how they are trying to prevent a disease in prisons. And since it's an institution that's run by the powers that be, like how they are deciding, it, like what are they deciding is healthy and provokes, promotes general health and like stopping the spread of viruses and things like that, which of course they didn't know about back then. They thought that um, disease was caused by miasma so I am interested to see what is uh, like they are considering helpful in that sense. So let's take a look. To prevent putrid fevers in jails and wash houses, I think it says, workhouses, yeah, workhouses. Fresh air by any ap apertures, doors or windows. Doors and windows should be opposite to each other to procure motion, agitation, and a currency in the air. Where such apertures cannot be had, an aperture of a foot square at the center of the room or middle part opposite to the door entrance, which aperture is formed by a piece or of deal or, or oak plank of a foot square with as many holes as may be of half an inch square and a wooden tube or gutter or f of six or eight inches square to run up to the side of the wall until it acquires a free aperture on the roof of the building. Okay, so they're, they're suggesting, like, ventilation. Like, that sounds like a ventilation, like, panel, um, just to allow the motion of air. Okay, that's not bad um, advice. I mean, remember during the pandemic when we were um, suggested to open your windows for at least 20 minutes in every hour. Um, you know, like, just to get the air moving and... Uh, because uh, if you're outside, you're much less likely to catch a virus as opposed to inside where the air is not moving as much. All right. A plan of a similar kind a few years since was introduced with six success in a large workhouse in the eastern part of this kingdom containing 1,000 persons in crowded apartments when a putrid fever broke out. It was done by the order of an eminent physician who particularly directed the windows on the several staircases to be unglazed for the purpose of for the purpose of airing and ventilating the house, V and B. Okay, that was slightly shorter than I was expecting, and that is not at all sufficient. I mean, as we know today, considering that we are more familiar with germ theory and uh, disinfecting and things like that, and we are aware that just getting enough fresh air is not sufficient to stop the spread of a virus. They also need to be washing their hands, they need to be washing surfaces that you touch a lot, like the handles, of doors and um, in a prison, I would imagine also the bars at like arm length, like hand length, um, where they would be grabbed onto a lot. But if they hadn't simply included the hand washing as well, um, and possibly like disinfecting of clothing, things like that, I think that um, that's probably enough in a situation of that kind, especially when people are separated. Now the question is, are they separated? or are they all in one big room? If they are on, all in one big room, then you need to separate those who are sick from those who are ill, for those who are not, I'm sorry, um, and uh, you know, try and disinfect anything that the sick people have touched to try and stop the spread. And as soon as you're aware of any symptoms to immediately isolate that person um, until they are better, right? And then um, obviously they can go back to general quarters. But um, yeah, so like that's, that's my opinion. I don't know if uh, what the circumstances are in the institutions they're mentioning. But um, like ventilation, obviously, good idea. But that does sound very much of the product of a miasma culture, you know, um, of people thinking that, it, that the fever is caused by bad smells and something that they're smelling, in which case fresh air, obviously. You know, let's get some fresh air. Once again, it's not a bad thing to have, but it's not going to prevent the spread of 
of viruses unless you also include hand washing and isolation of those who are sick and um, also disinfection of surfaces. Um, anyway, um, what do you think of this? Do you think that this was uh, like their best efforts at the time or do you think that they were just simply insufficient? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below and if you like the video make sure to give it a like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video.